good evening now we will see remaining two problems which are related with your sharing stress from exercise 1 that is day 1 and we have first problem determine the shear stress distribution for the cross section of a beam shown in figure when subjected to shear force 400 kilonewtons now we know what is formula so we have formula that is tau is equal to va y bar upon ib so v we know we have v that is 400 kilonewtons so 400 into 10 days to 3 newtons then a bar we, we have to find at different locations then i which is important one now we have to find i that is about this axis. And if you will see, then we have all three, if I will consider this as one, this is one, so we have same, and this is two. So centroid of this individual section and whole section, we have along the same line. And therefore we need not have any edge. So we will have these two times. So we have two and two. B we have 25, D we have 250, Q divided by 12. Then we have second part that is this second part we have B we have 550, D we have 15, so 515 into 15 Q by 12. And from this we will get value of I that is equal to 65.26 into 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the power 4. And B, we have different. But now, where we are going to find out, we will consider this will be section 1 1. So we have 1 1. Then at this, that is at the junction of this. So we have two, two. Then that is at neutral axis. Sorry, this is two, two. Then neutral axis, we have three, three. And at bottom, we have that will be four, four. Now, as we have already seen, top and bottom, we do not have area above one, one, below four, four. So we have tau one, one. That is equal to tau 4, 4. That is equal to 0. Now we will go with tau 2, 2. Actually, we, if we will consider this 4, 4, then we have this will be, I will mention this as 2, 2 dash. So we have same. And then we have tau 2, 2 or tau 2, 2 dash. We have to first find V A, sorry, A Y bar. We have to consider area above this. So we have area above this, this portion. So we will get this portion, this depth. So we have total depth 250. So we have 250. We have to subtract this 15 minus 15. And then we have to divide it by 2. And we will get this value as 117.5 millimeters. Now we have twice. So 2 into area we have 25 into 117.5. Y bar. We have centroid of this. So that will be 117.5 by 2. And then from this. So we have to add this value of 7.5 because moment we have about neutral axis and therefore we have 117.5 by 2 plus 7.5. And from this we will get value of AY bar. I got it as 2385, sorry, 389.27. 389, 389.27 into 10 raised to 3 millimeter cube because A and Y bar. 
and then we will get value of tau at 2 2 that is equal to v we have 400 into 10 raised to 3 a y bar we have 389.27 into 10 raised to 3 i value we have 65.26 into 10 raised to 6 into b we have two values of b just above we have 50 and just below we have 600 and that is equal to 2385 0.6 upon b now we will get two values tau 2 2 just above we have only two vertical rectangles and 2 in 225, we will have 50. So 2385 of 0.6 upon 2 into 25. And we will get this value that is equal to 47.71 Newton per mm square. And we have just below, so tau 2 to, we have just below 600. So we have just below. So that is equal to 2385.6 upon 600. And we got this value equal to, so I have this value just 3.98 Newton per mm square. So we have these two values. Now we can find that is at neutral axis. And then at neutral axis, we have to add actually this portion. And then I can write a y bar at 3, 3. So I will write. Tau 3, 3 or at neutral axis, and that is Ay bar. So we will consider first Ay bar as it is. We have this value that is 389.22 into 10 days to 3. And we have to take a remaining portion, which is 600 into 7.5 into 7.5 by 2 and we will get this value so just we will calculate it so we have 600 into 7.5 square divided by 2 plus 389.22 to the power 3 we have 406.09 Four zero six point zero nine into ten days to three millimeter square, and then we have tau three three, which is tau max, and we have this value equal to v we have four hundred into ten days to three, a y bar we have four zero six point zero nine into ten days to three upon i we have 65.26 into 10 days to 6 and the value of B we have over here and that value of B we have 600. And if you calculate this, I have this value 4.15 Newton per mm square. So I already mentioned once that it is not essential always. We have maximum value at neutral axis. So I cannot write this as tau max. We are habitual with this. So we do not have maximum value over here. So tau max we got that is just above. We have this value 47.71 Newton per mm square. And now plot it. So I will plot it. So we will go for this value. So 47.71 so zero at top and bottom, 
then we have this value 47.71 so along this line so 47.71 then it will come inside here it will be 3.98 then it will go at center little bit 4.15 and then it becomes zero over here. So we have shear stress distribution diagram. So try to understand in examination, we may confuse how it will not maximum at this. So for triangle also, I already mentioned, it is not maximum at neutral axis. Then we have another problem that is of T section. So we have given this T section and we have given a six kilonewton per meter throughout and span is given at six meters. So now we have formula tau is equal to VA Y bar upon IB. Now for V, we have to draw simply supported beam and UDL is given, that is 6 kilonewton per meter. Now, as it is simply supported symmetrical, so we are going to get a reaction that will be half. So total load will be 6 into 6, 36 divided by 2. So we have reaction that is 18 kilonewton, 18 kilonewton. We have to find values at 1 meter. So we have this as 18 kilonewton and we have to consider one meter over here. So we have this will be span with one meter and then we will get V equal to, this is six kilonewton per meter. So V equal to 18 minus six into one and that will be 12 kilonewton. So value of V we have, 12 into 10 days to 3 newtons. Then we have to find value of y bar. So we will have y bar that is equal to 100 into 10 into 5 plus 100 into 10 into, now we have 50 for this plus 10 this that is 60 and we have both 100 by 10 so i can write 2 into 100 by 10 and we will get value of y bar that is equal to 32.5 millimeters and then you can find value of i so i will write i that is equal to now over here so we have i is equal to first part B D cube by 12 plus A into H square 100 into we have 32.5 minus 5 whole square plus 10 into 100 cube by 12 plus A into H square 10 into 100 into 60 minus 32.5 whole square. And I got this value of I that is equal to 2.35 into 10 days to 6 millimeter to the power 4. Now we will have sections that is this will be 1 1. Then we are here that is 2 2. Then at 32.5, we have 3.3. Three. And then we have 4.4, four, which will be at bottom. Now we again have tau 1 when, which is equal to tau 4.4 four, four equal to 0. So now we will go tau 2.2. Two, two. And for tau 2.2, two, two, we will find value of a y bar. So now we have a 100 into 10 and y bar 
we have to take moment about neutral axis. So 32.5 minus 5, and we will have this value 27,500 millimeter cube. And then we have, actually we have this value as 22.5. And now we have tau 2, 2 is equal to V, we have 12 into 10 days to 3 AY bar 27,500 value of I 2.35 into 10 days to 6 into B and we will have this value equal to 140.43 upon B. And then we have tau 2 just above. So we have 140.43 upon 100 and that value is 1.4 Newton per millimeter square. And we have tau 2 2 just below 140.43 divided by 10, which will be 14.04 Newton per mm square. Then we have to find that neutral axis area. We have to add this area. This already we have calculated. Now we have to add this. So we have tau at 3, 3. So tau 3, 3, and we have to find a y bar. So we have a y bar that is equal to, I will take this as it is, 27,500 plus remaining portion, 22.5 into 10, and about moment about neutral axis, 22.5 by 2. And we will have this value of a y bar so I got this value of A Y bar, 331 means 30,031.25 millimeter square. And then tau we can find easily tau 33. Now this is definitely tau max. And V we have 12 into 10 days to 3. A Y bar we have. 30,031.25 upon value of I we have 2.35. So we have 2.35 into 10 days to 6 and value of B we have 10 and we have this value 15.34 Newton per mm square. And then we have to plot these values. So we have this as T section, and then we will plot these values across this section. So we will have here that is 20, 32.5. So this is neutral axis. And this value we have 32.5. And then we will plot it. So we have this value will be 1. So first value we have 1.4 just above. So this is 1.4. Then it will be suddenly increases, goes to 14.04 and is maximum at neutral axis, which will be 15.34 and 0 at 44. So we have this value 0 there. And this will be shear stress distribution diagram. So we have to plot like this. Actually, T section we have already done. So shear stress distribution diagram. So now we will stop here only. So this is all about your exercise number one. So now we will stop here. Thank you.